What is going on guys? Side of the Roof here and today we're we'll talking about Pocket Chip. So let's do this. So yeah, today we're we'll talking about Pocket Chip. The power to change the game in a small form factor, Pocket PC. So let's talk about it. So it's pretty simple. It comes in this tiny little box. You plug it in, charge it, power it on with the button, and play things and make things happen. So let's open it up and see what comes inside. A pocket chip. It also comes with a USB cable, which I somehow managed to lose before completing this review. But anyways, so it, it uh, charges with a regular micro USB. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. First of all, it has a full-size USB-A port so you can plug in a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, a webcam, a uh, MIDI or anything else that it can technically recognize. It also has a 3.5 millimeter three pole jack so it has uh, audio out as well as video out um, through a composite adapter. And then it has micro USB and you use that for charging and uh, putting some data on it. On the front here it has a 4.3 inch resistive touch LED screen that's uh, 480 by 272 pixels, so not the greatest resolution, but that's about the biggest it'll drive, so um, for the size it's pretty nice. And then it has a full keyboard and up down arrows escape, like it's a full keyboard mashed on here. Most of it's all in the same, like QWERTY's all the same, uh, then you get your numbers up here. Some of them, the additional function, like um, brackets, parentheses and stuff, you gotta like either hit FN or SHIFT to get up on top uh, because they're all secondaries. But for the most everything you're doing, just typing, it's all right here, which is really nice for coding, for typing, for gaming or whatever else. And then it also has these very interesting holes here and here. So it's round here and hex here. The hex, it's actually literally designed to have a pencil go through it. They literally say, hey, you want to prop this up? Stick a pencil through it or stick a pen through it in the circle one. Like, it's just that simple. On the back side, you can see that it has a big old battery right there beneath the plastic case. That is a 3.7 volt LiPo battery that lasts about five hours, depending on how much you're using it and how uh, bright the brightness is on the display. So what is pocket chip and what is chip? So pocket chip is basically turning the chip computer into a kind of tablet PC. So how this works is it's actually, so this is chip, this is the brains of the machine. It has the USB-A, it has the micro USB, the audio out and video out over components. It has all these GPIO pinouts. This is mainly the design that you would use to hook it up to um, other stuff like I've done with pies and stuff where you can pin it out, connect it to boards, connect it to other little micro machines or whatever else. Right there in the middle is the brains of the machine. That is a 1 gigahertz ARAM 7 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM and a Mali 440 GPU. It has 4 gigabytes of onboard storage. None of that is upgradable or addable, so it's just all soldered on this micro little board. Then you combine this with the pocket, which is the battery, the display, the keyboard, more GPIO pinouts right across the top here, and then it just snaps right inside, line it up, push it till it's tight, make sure it's seated well all the way across so that all the pins lay in, and boom, there you go. Turn it on, it's got a big old power button right there, push and hold for a few seconds, and it'll turn right on. Now the boot up is a little bit long, but once it's on, it's fast and pretty responsive and easy to use. When it first boots up, it shows you how to use Pocket Chip. You can hit Escape to tab out of it, otherwise you can just push left and right and it'll show you basically how to use it, your apps, your icons, you can code in terminal, all that. Or just hit Escape and you'll go right to the main menu. It's very simple, it has six basic menu options. Terminal, where you can, it's a full Linux terminal. You can code, you can do SSH, you can do whatever. If you are knowledgeable at how Linux works, Terminal is very powerful. And it's also how you can um, back and add other apps to the Pi. There's Pico 8, which is their gaming system. Not only can you play hundreds of retro ARAM games for this thing, you can also code and build your own games for it. Pretty cool. It also has Sunbox, which allows you to make music and edit it. It's an uh, onboard synth and virtualizer. And the controls are a little bit different because you're, you're doing it all on keyboard, but it's pretty powerful and pretty cool to use. 
Um, an easy help button, write, which is a basic text editor. You can edit text, you can edit command line, you can do whatever. And then browse files, which allows you to actually uh, browse the onboard um, file system and you can copy files to it and see. It's a full Linux distro, so it's got your desktop downloads, music, pictures, whatever. Um, trash can desktop, so all that's in your file system. But this basically is your desktop. There's a little settings wheel down here which allows you to connect to the Wi-Fi, adjust your brightness up and down, as well as your volume out. Um, up here you can see the Wi-Fi is connected. Push power over on this side, you can shut it down, sleep, reboot, or flash the software to restore it to its default condition. So why did I get the pocket chip and what is it kind of used for? Um, I've been interested in small form factor ARAM PCs for a while. I've uh, played with the original Pis. I have a Pi 3 now and I have an exciting video coming up for you on what I did with a Pi 4 automation. So the Raspberry Pi is probably one of the most well-known mobile form factor ARAM processor microcomputer boards. But the Pocket Chip is a new person to see, and they actually kick-started uh, late last year and started shipping early this year, and I got in on Wave 2, so I ended up getting this a few months ago. So I've been playing with it for a little while and just trying to figure out how I can use the Pocket Chip and what it can be used for. Now, you got to understand there are limitations to it. It has only 4 gigs of storage. It has no HDMI out, so you're either using the little 4.3-inch screen or you're using composite out over your audio jack. So there are some limitations that way, but it is highly moddable. Again, if you don't want to use it on the screen, you can take it out and then just using GPIO pinouts, you can do it and control stuff. You can then, um, through adapters, like you can get another video way out if you go to a breadboard and then go out that way. But again, you're limited on the um, resolution because again, it has a very limited GPU. This thing is not like the equivalent of a Pi. It is very much a secondary smaller brother designed for different things. The, tr the Pi can drive a full 1920 by 1080 display at, you know, like 720p. Uh, but this thing cannot. So there are limitations to it. It's not as powerful. It's not quite as fast, but it can do certain things that are pretty cool. Like the ability to play old style games in a form factor that's kind of like an old Nintendo uh, Game Boy that it's just really cool. And it allows kids to start learning command line and start learning Linux. Like it's a very easy system. I used it for one of the things was a remote control system around my house for SSH in, into a server as well as into my Pi. I would start remote commands from this. And it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's very easy to just pull up the terminal, type in a few commands. You can SSH into whatever terminal that you want and you have full control of it over this small device. It has Linux, so I was able to install IC so you could get a browser on there. Um, I tried Minecraft. It was a little bit buggy, but that was a thing that you can play on it. They say you can play Doom on it. I haven't tried that, but that's pretty cool. There's lots of different games. Because it is Linux, if there are ARAM derivatives of it, you can generally install them on this thing. Now, not everything. Again, this doesn't have the CPU horsepower that something like a Pi does, but it still allows you to install a lot of different things. Just being able to create games or create music on a device this small is pretty impressive. Um, other cool things you can do with this besides uh, just the chip parts on the actual pocket chip itself is you can mod the bash shell, you can mod the desktop, you can actually load XDE on here and have an entire different user interface. There's a full Python touch calculator that actually fills up this entire screen. So it's a full scientific calculator on here that uh, uses Python. Pretty cool. You can also stream Star Wars. Just a very nerdy thing, but why not? I mean, not the greatest resolution, but you can watch Star Wars on this thing if you have a good Wi-Fi connection. And because it is designed to be modded, there are plenty of things you can do with it. Um, there are some people who have added a small speaker and amp in here so you don't have to use headphones and constantly be wearing headphones. You can actually have a speaker and then you can pull up controls and actually control it right out here on the device itself. There are all sorts of other modding ways you can use this device for. The really cool thing is even though this system overall, the chip and pocket chip system are pretty new, like I said, they've only been shipping over the last six months or so, they actually have a very active and large website and community forum. People are posting on there all the time of projects they've done, things they've created, and they're, they're asking questions like, oh, have you run across this problem? Or, oh, I wanted to do this with the chip. Can I do it? Or 
just sharing. It is a very active community, and that's what I really like to see. For new hardware like this, particularly something that has has its limitations, but has also an incredible potential, it's great to see people coming together and forming a community that allows them to get the most out of this device. So I guess it's time for conclusion. Is the pocket chip worth it? Well, at 70 US dollars, it's not that expensive, but it is more expensive than a Pi. But again, you gotta realize its limitations and what it's used for and realize that you cannot compare it to a Pi. The Pi doesn't have a screen. It doesn't have a full keyboard. But the Pi also has full Ethernet support, four, three other USB ports, HDMI out. It's more powerful, it has more storage, it's expandable storage. So the Pi is a completely different thing. Now I'm using the Pi as basically a comparison, but it's not quite a complete or fair comparison. This thing is far less powered but it has its own positives. It has a keyboard. It has a screen. It has a five hour battery. It's a great way for kids to start learning how to play with Linux, how to play old games, how to design their own games, how to use a basic old time synth. It's a great way for people to start playing around with Linux in a very portable factor. Also, if you pull the chip out, you can start your own modding. You can plug in GPIO pinouts, you can plug it into a breadboard, you could use this to control little robots. There's all sorts of things you can do. And because this is a full area computer, it's running a distro of Linux, you can execute commands. You could wirelessly SSH into this thing and have it as the brains and run commands and have it execute things. So it's actually pretty promising. And for 70 bucks, I would say it's worth it. As long as you know what you're getting in for two, and as long as you don't have any unrealistic expectations, this is a great little device for people to play around with. So, pocket chip. Definitely go check it out. Links in the description down below. So yeah guys, that's been my review of the Pocket Chip, a very cool uh, low-end ARAM processor computer that allows you to do some pretty nifty things for an actually decently affordable price. Let me know in the comment box down below, what did you think of my review? Have you gotten a Pocket Chip or have you even heard of them before? Have you messed around with uh, low-end ARAM computers, whether that be modding or designing things or just playing around with ARAM on Linux? Let me know in the comment box down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Remember you can check out my last video I did right here. Remember hit that like and subscribe button down below so you don't miss reviews like this or anything else I do on this channel. Follow me on social media so you can see what else I'm doing in my life. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!